hey guys welcome back to my channel it's andrea here it's like okay so today i'm gonna be doing a story time i look at my hair it looks all bad and stuff this story time is going to be about everybody been asking so this story time is going to be about why i went to jail and the school threats or whatever okay so i don't even know where to start it's a long 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 story a long story so i'm just get to it because i don't like distracting i'm just get to it like get straight to it okay so this is what happened so i was 16 at the time and i was in 10th grade 10th yeah I was in 10th grade, and I was dating this guy. I'm going to say names because I don't care. Don't nobody scare me or put fear in my blood. But anyway, so I was dating this guy named Daniel. And I was when I lived in Clovis. So, yeah, I was dating this guy named Daniel in Clovis. And we went to school together. We were dating for a few months and stuff. And then we got, like, really, really close. He would be at my house every night. And, like, we were just dating for, like, three. We were dating for four or five months, something like that. I was 16, he was 17, I think. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, so anyways, y'all was dating this guy named Daniel. Was dating for a couple of months or whatever. And, like, he saw us be at my house. Like, because we live, we literally live across the street from each other. Like, it was my house, and then it was his. And then this is how it started. Okay, this is how we started dating. So, <sighs> this is how it happened. So, my friend Dulce, we was me. It was me, or it was a house, my house, and Dulce's house in his house. So, one day I was at my friend Dulce's house, and I saw him outside, and I was like, dang, he fine. And then Dulce's cousin went to go get his Snapchat for me, and I got a Snapchat, and we started texting. And then I went to the lake or whatever, and we were texting back and forth. And then one day he invited me over to his house, and I went over there. And, like, I don't know. Y'all know how it is. I took a shower, got ready, shaved my cooter, did all that. So, anyway, so I go to his house or whatever. I went to his house and his... Where, I didn't know. Why did his sister sit out? So, anyways, I went to his house and... I went to his house, went in his room. We were talking, just talking. He was telling me I was cute and all that other stuff, you know. And then we started kissing. And I got on top of him. We were just kissing. And then his sister walked in, bitch. His motherfucking sister walked in, right? And then she was like, oh, what the fuck, Daniel? She needs to leave. She needs to leave. And I just, I was smiling. I just walked out. And then we started texting the next day. Well, we were still texting that night. But, like, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't in the mood. Because, like, your sister just walked in. And I feel like she don't like me now. So, anyway, I look bad. So, anyway, me and her, me and him was texting the next day. And he was like, come over. And I'm like, damn. I didn't ask no question. I just went over the same the second night. And his parents was outside, whatever. So I went over there, and uh, his sister was sitting on the couch, and she just waved to me. I guess they had a talk. She waved to me, and I walked in there, and then we started kissing and same stuff. We did. We ended up having sex, and, like, we just ended up dating right there. Wait, yeah. We ended up dating. No, he, then the next day, he asked me to be his girlfriend, and we were just texting back and forth. So snapped, and we ended up dating. So... You know, it was like, you know, dang, we really dating. It was just like, it, I was so happy. Like, that's the happiest I've ever been in a relationship. That was my first love and my first heartbreak, my first everything. Like, I ain't ever been that hurt so much in my life. But anyway, let me get to that. So anyways, so we dating a couple of months go by. I'm going to just skip a couple of months go by. Okay, so I'm going to just get back to the night of how to start and stuff happen. Okay, so it's about 1, 2, what time was it? 2 o'clock in the morning. He had my... This is what happened. So, he's at my house. I'm in my room. You know, we just chilling. So, he had this fake profile on Snapchat that uh, he used because his mom didn't allow him to text me because some stuff had happened. We wasn't really on good terms. She didn't like him dating me because I was black or whatever. So, anyways, no, that's not why. It was I was because I was black and I was young. Something like that. Anyways, so... Anyways, by then, she got used to us dating stuff. She started good with it. I was going over to family events, you know, eating all that Mexican food and all that other stuff. So, anyways, so it's 2 o'clock in the morning that night. He come over there. Um, 
let me see. So he had logged on to the Snapchat, and the Snapchat had a bunch of our adult fake Snapchat had a bunch of our pictures on it and stuff. So like saved our memory. So that's how you knew it was ours. And then like the teach. Okay, so this is what happened. So we just chilling there, and then th that same day he was like he was telling me about how he got trouble by some teachers, how they was yelling at him and stuff. And I was like, well, damn. And then we would just talk about it, and then he got on that fake Snapchat, because nobody, he only texted me off of there. He got on that fake Snapchat, and he got on the story. Oh, he had the people add it, but he never posted on there, and they never knew who Snapchat it was. So, he added people on, no, he been had people added on there. So, he started, um, what did I say? Okay, so he made a Snapchat, well, we saw that that guy, Nathaniel, had shut up the library or whatever, so... He was like, well, damn, shit, I'm going to do this. So I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And then um, what had happened? So he got the phone, and he logged on to the fake Snapchat, and he made, oh, that's the ice. He put on Snapchat. He was like, um, I think he said something like, I'm going to shoot up to school or something at the t at his teachers. Like, mind you, them teachers didn't know me. I don't know who them teachers was. I ain't never seen them a day in my life. And he added them on the Snapchat. So then the next, we know nothing, nothing. We didn't even think it was going to go around like that. And I'm the one who knew, like, I knew who did it and all that other stuff. So nothing wasn't nothing. So the next time I wake up, it's all over social media. That screenshot is all over fucking social media, y'all. Every fuck where. What I mean, everywhere, it's every fuck where. My mama talk about, she comes over and talk about, look this. And I'm like, dang, that's crazy. Who did that? And stuff. So mind you i'm like damn you know it's really him well basically us because that's my nigga but and i knew about it but i didn't say nothing so you know everybody talk about it reposted it on facebook and stuff all that boogie boogie stuff and i'm like damn you know i'm like i don't know who it is so then um what else happened after that so then the next day yeah the same day you know we asked everybody talk about it they go on lockdown all the other shit all the other shit that mr brady raggedy ass be doing all that extra bullshit Anyways, that happened. So then, you know, it blow over, but people still talking about it. So two days later, me and Daniel on the phone, me and Daniel on the phone, right? We sitting here talking or more or usually talking while he at home. I'm in my room talking and then he come, he called me. No, yeah, he called me. He like, you know, it's some fucking um, undercover sitting outside my house. He walked by, he take pictures of the undercover. I was like, dang, you know, I wasn't thinking of nothing. So... Next thing you know, I'm in my room, right? And no, I walk, I walked in my room and I seen post talk to my mama, and I thought that they were just, you know, regular talking. So next thing you know, I'm in my room on the phone with Daniel, and the police is bust. They, they not, not bust, but they bust. My room doors already open. Hold up. They in my room while I'm on the phone with Daniel, and they like put the phone down. So I hang the phone with Daniel, and they talk. I hung up the phone on uh, to Daniel, and you know, mind you, it's Captain Romero. I don't like that cop. That's the only cop I don't like. And he talked about putting my phone down and stuff. So they took everybody's phones in the house except for my mama's. And so, you know, mind you, I didn't know what was going on. Time I did not know what was going on. So we all go to my mama's room, and they uh, talk to all me, and my siblings, and be like, "Do y'all know anything about these threats and stuff?" And then. My stepdad, Grady, was all looking at me. So, basically, he snitched on me. He didn't know, but he was like, he like, that sound like something I would do. And I was like, are you fucking serious? So, anyway, so that happened or whatever. We still just in there talking. And he take all the phones and all that stuff. And then, let me see. Then, like, I just confessed. And I'm like, I told them, like, what happened. And then, instead of me saying it was him, I said it was both of us. Because I'm not no snitch. So, I just said it was both of us. And I'm like, yeah, it was both of us. So they go bust down his door and get him out of there and take him, put him in a clothes guard and take him up there. And then they talked to him, whatever. I don't know what he, he went, his ugly ass went back there and told them. So I think the next day or the same day, I'm not sure, but then we went up to me and my mom and they started talking to me and they was like, well, Daniel said it was all you and you did all this. And then daniel the next day daniel told me a different story like he didn't tell them that and stuff like that he was like no i didn't say it was you i said i didn't know who it was but his mom was over there vouching for him talking about yeah it was him my son went like this too he got with her um honey and i was like honey your son smokes and do all this other shit i don't do none of that i go to school and get my work done period so anyways all that had happened and um 
what else happened after that? So, yeah, we had went and talked, and it was like, well, Daniel saying it was all you, and this and that. And so, I'm arguing with the cop or whatever. We sitting in the police thing, or not the police department. We sitting in there talking, and I'm like, well, it was both of us. It wasn't just me. Like, basically, it was really him, but I took the blame for it. So, that happened, and... Let me see what else happened. Um, after that, it, it all blew down and stuff. And then Catherine Romero called my mama. And he was like, we're going to take her to jail. It's a warrant for her arrest. And I'm like, no biggie, no biggie. It's like, I'm just putting out one like that. I was scared as fuck. So anyway, so mom was telling me about it. Me and Daniel wasn't allowed to be around each other. Daniel was like, he didn't do none of that. He didn't say none of that. Da, 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 da. But the police was like, well, his mom was like, he logged, he, but the thing is, Daniel logged onto the fake Snapchat and showed him the messages. So basically, that was proving it was him. And then the only thing is that when they busted down Daniel's door and they were in his room and got him, they didn't mention the part how Daniel, he broke the phones up. So they, like, he broke up the phone, basically. But more to the story is the reason how they, the reason why they basically assumed it was me because it was done on my IP address. It was done on my Wi-Fi. Not here, it was done on my Wi-Fi. Then Grady went to tell the police that Dan used to sneak through my window and this and shat and the police take pictures of my window. Like, what the fuck they gotta do with the threats and stuff? So anyways, that happened or whatever. And then a few days go by. So I knew I already know I'm going to jail and stuff. So my mama, uh, mama, they Captain Romero called mama was like, go get her from school because they, they, cause they could be a bitch coming from school. So mama came and got me from school. She took me home. Daniel's fat ass mama came across the street. She was hugging me. We had a little one. We started crying together because, you know, all the stuff. She talked about, I'm going to help you and stuff about this lawyer. But nobody helped mom. My mama got that lawyer by herself. Nobody helped her. Not even my daddy. My mama do everything on her own. She never acts a nigga for shit. She don't need no nigga for shit. Period. Anyways, so... She went to go get the, uh, wait, what happened? So, we was hugging or whatever. So, then, all the kids, my, no, all my siblings are still in school or whatever. So, uh, the police just pull up. They pull up with the warrant. And, you know, I'm already knowing I'm going to jail. So, I put on something comfortable or whatever. And I, I thought I could wear that in jail. So, I didn't. So, they take off. So, anyways, talk to mama. We all stand up to my mama. start crying. I'm like, why are you crying, mama? It's okay. Don't cry. So, she start crying. So, they, they they parked by Daniel's house. So, basically, Daniel's parents didn't even all looking at me getting arrested. So, he put the handcuffs on my hands right here and I sit in the front seat. And we go to the police station or whatever. So, I'm just like, damn, I'm really in this bitch. And I thought Daniel was going with me, but Daniel fuck. But listen, I'm like, dang, my nigga just handled that stuff. I was sticking that all in my head. My nigga got me. He didn't do none of this, none of that. So, uh, no biggie. I go to jail or whatever. And I'm sitting in a holding cell. And my a probation officer named Adam Martinez come, right? And he gave me my, they gave me my warrant. You know, Captain Romero gave my warrant. I'm just sitting in my cell. So Adam came and uh, since he was talking, I got tired of him talking to me. So I started reading my warrant or whatever because I know what it was. But it was saying everything that they don't have back there and said. And the reason why I knew he was saying this stuff because he said in the warrant, it said stuff that nobody knew about but me and him. So that's when I knew he, he started doing that shit off top. But I'm still in my head like, no, nah, that's my nigga. He wouldn't do that to me. We've been together too long. He loved me. He proved to me that he loved me. So anyways, the warrant's still saying, Daniel said that I did it by myself. Daniel said he had nothing to do with it. It was all me. But this nigga still sitting in my face laughing, talking about, ooh, I don't do this, that, ooh, that, that, that. So anyway, so the warrant was like, yeah, Daniel said this and that. And it was saying what Grady was saying too. And I'm like, damn. Anyways, family really ain't shit. Anyway, so... Um, what happened after that? So, I get, I go to jail or whatever. Yeah, I went to jail or whatever the fuck. Okay, so, yeah, I'm still sitting in my holding cell, and I'm crying, and I'm like, damn. No, I wasn't crying. Yeah, I went, I went to the shower. That's when they made me go to the shower, and I'm in there crying, like, fuck, what if this is real? I was so, so, no big, I get out, I, they take my picture or whatever. Y'all, tell me why I was sitting down, they was taking my hair, bring my picture, looking around, and... Nathaniel was looking at me through that goddamn thing. Y'all, I was so dang scared. I, like, I know I'm not going to no cell with no dudes. But anyways, I was like, damn, let me stop over here. So they took my stuff and I went in my cell. I had a little panic attack or whatever. I ain't gonna lie. Because it's like so small and I wasn't used to it. So anyways, three day, two days, because they give you three days. So three days went by. I went to go see a judge. Um, Everybody was in my court, y'all. My court was full as heck. So I went to go see a judge. Um, I got out. Yeah, I got out, then I went, I was being, I went, I got out of jail, and I was being smart, and I got back on Snapchat, and I went back to jail the second day after that, no, I, the day, they tried to put me back in jail, but the judge said no, so then Andrea Reeve got mad, and went and told the judge, like, hey, let's redo this, she needs to go back to jail, so they went, I went back to jail, I ain't gonna lie, I spent a week in there, um, I basically, 
Based, oh wait, I skipped out. Before, the first time I got a Joe, I asked Daniel, did he say all this stuff? He still said no, like, okay, that's my nigga. So then I go back to Joe the second time, and you know, I'm like, dang, I'm used to it. I'm already, it was in here. So anyways, I went back to jail. A week went by. I got out again, and Mr. Brady's in there talking about, what if she was somebody else's phone again, judge? All this other stuff, my family's scared for me. Like, nigga, I ain't even got no gun. Anyways, and it wasn't, and then Daniel teachers was in there, like, they don't, I'm like, y'all, y'all don't even know me, say something. So, anyways, um, I go to jail, wait, I got out of jail, Daniel was at my court, I don't know why they let him come, so anyway, they all was at my court, everybody was at my court, and let me say y'all, so, the first time I went to jail, Keila, dang, I should never say her name, but anyways, family, Went around telling my babies, Andrea went to jail, Andrea went to jail. Like, who does that? That's why I don't mess none of my family. Now, if you don't live in my household, I don't claim you guys my family, period. Anyways, like I was saying, yeah, that happened. I went to jail. What was that? Oh, yeah, I got off the second time. My mama had me some Arby's ready. Smack. I got out of jail. You know, me and Daniel, I took a shower. We home took a shower. Me and Daniel had that little sex or whatever. Because that sex was bomb. I ain't had sex forever. Well, and then I, I missed the part. So I was in jail. And, you know, I was in jail for a week. So it, it felt like a while. So I was talking to my mom and them. They was calling me. Her and Grady wanted to come see me in jail. And then I was on the phone with Ashley. And Ashley was like, he out, Andrea, Daniel over here laughing with the neighbors, Googling up while you in jail and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I don't let it get to me. Like, dang, okay. So anyways, um, yeah, that happened. More to the story is Daniel's a snitch. Y'all don't mess with him. Um, I got some videos of him running from somebody to trying to get beat up. Anyways, he's a snitch. I don't mess with him. He be fronting on Facebook like he this and that, but really he's scary and he a snitch. And he ain't about that life. So, yeah. And then they talk about me when he really had the gun, not me. So, more to the story, I was stupid and I took up for a nigga that wasn't down for me that I thought was down for me. And that's what happened. And they told me I wasn't allowed to be on social media. But can't nobody tell me what to do? And I still was on social media. So anyways, right now, I'm 17. I was on I was on, I was on, probation for two years. And yeah. And now I'm saying, people be holding out against me too. They be judging me talking about you make threats or whatever. Like, y'all don't even know the story. Y'all don't even know the story. Shut the fuck up. And then the crazy thing is, me and Davina was like this. She know. I told her what happened. Me and Davina was like this after everything had happened. So, and everybody was spreading rooms talking about it. I was trying to talk to Nathaniel in jail. Motherfucker, no, I was not. I can't even talk to him. So, yeah. That's, oh, and let me tell y'all why we broke up. So, this is what happened while we broke up. So, one day, I'm just in my room, like normal, cleaning up my room, lay down, texting Daniel. You know, we texting. And... His mom texts mom and say, can I talk to Andrea? So, me mama walk over there and then she was like, um, she was like, are you and Daniel still together? And I was like, yeah. And then she showed me this long text message of him saying that he's breaking up with me, he's with this girl. So, I'm texting, meanwhile, I'm texting Daniel at the time. I'm like, where you at? Daniel, talking about home. But, nigga, I'm at your house talking to your mama. You ain't in your room. So, more of the story is, I text, it's over, you cheat on me, blocked him. And I broke up with him like that. And not to mention, I have my suspicions because when we used, when I used to spend at his house stuff and go over there, I used to smell coochie on his lips right here. And more, and let me tell y'all what the messed up part is about. I used to go to his work, give him money, right? And the same, I used to, the same girl that used to work at the cash register, it's the girl he was messing with the whole time, and he with her. I used to go up there and be like, "Where Daniel at?" Uh, and she used to get him for me the whole time they fucking. What kind of shit is that? That's how you know Clovis is disgusting and nasty. They will fuck anything and everything. They will laugh in your face while they're fucking your nigga. But anyways, that's the story. And yeah. Oh yeah, and they tried to have my brother, Captain Romero, tried to have my brother and my my brother, Daniel, and my stepdad testify against me. Like, like, oh, my camera died. Oh shoot, let me fix this. Probably fix it. But anyways, I forgot where I was at. Anyway, yeah, people ain't shit, niggas ain't shit, and, and that's all I got to say, and that's the story. Finally got to tell my side of the story, but anyway, Daniel's a snitch, don't trust him, he's scary, and he will tell, he will snitch on you in a heartbeat, and all I gotta say is never fucking take the blame for no nigga, never try to save a nigga's ass, cause they won't save your ass, 
while you covering their ass, they could be snitching on your ass. But anyway, yeah, that's all I got to say. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me some more videos y'all want to see. I got some good content for coming for y'all. And I'm going to collab with some people. But people be playing. They be BS with me. But anyways, yeah. And thanks for, lock thanks for watching. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That's stuff, Jay. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And tell me what else y'all want to see. And I will talk to y'all another time.